everyone, my name is Alice and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see by the title and thumbnail for this video, today I'm going to be sharing a post-lockdown haul. At the moment, I'm living in Northern Ireland and the shops here opened on Friday the 30th of April. And so on that Friday and Saturday the 1st of May, I went and did a lot of shopping. So I'm really keen to share with you today what I purchased. So we're going to get straight on with it. So first of all, I went to TK Maxx because I had miss been missing my TK Maxx. Luckily, there wasn't any queue and I could walk straight in at 8 a.m. No, at 9 a.m. Anyway, so I purchased this super duper body butter for four pounds. It smells a bit weird, but I used it yesterday. Yeah, four pounds. Another thing that cost four pounds were these. 24 karat gold plated nail scissors. Um, this tea cost 60p in the clearance section. It's the Pucker English Breakfast Organic Tea. Um, this belt was originally from Abercrombie and Fitch and cost £28, but I paid £8 for it, so I'm really pleased about that because I needed a black belt. Stickers! So this was only £1.40, so I had to pick them up. 725 stickers, and I always like my stickers. Uh, another food item were these superfood cashew and dark chocolate cacao clusters of quinoa. So that only cost 50p. It was originally £3, but I wouldn't pay £3 for this. Uh, I got this brulee candle. It smells really nice, but I started burning it yesterday and I'm annoyed it hasn't burnt the whole way around the edges. It smells so strong. Then I also bought this water bottle because I've had my current water bottle for a very long time. Anyway, this is a kid's one, but it was £6, originally £17.50. So I'm pleased with this one. And then I also got this reed diffuser. So it is from Pecksniffs and it's bamboo and Veritiver, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so that was £6 and it was originally £18. And then I also purchased some Ted Baker sunglasses in TK Maxx. So that's what they look like. I'm filming with a ring light so you can see that reflection. Those sunglasses were £30 but they were originally £75 and then I actually bought some shoes even though I wasn't really looking for shoes. They are a bit garish but I had previously been trying on shoes because I like the style of loafer shoe but I'm not sure because they're a very very chunky heel <laughs> and then this bit's a bit silver as well but they were £3 and they were originally £100 and they're Geox shoes and they're actually really comfy but I'm just not sure like if I had a job in an office would I actually wear these I don't know but at £3 that's a complete bargain so now we're going to move on to Marks and Spencers where I purchased three pairs of nude tights um these are the sort of thing I don't really want to pay postage for so I was just pleased that I was able to go and purchase them from the shops on Friday. I also went to Lush to pick up some more of this sleepy cream. This is a repurchase. I have bought it about five times now. It contains tonka and lavender and I think it helps me get to sleep. So it's £9 for 95 grams. And then also over the last 18 months I had been collecting five of the Lush black tubs so I could exchange five tubs for one face mask so I got the don't look at me fresh face mask containing silken tofu and ground rice I haven't tried this one before but I'm looking forward to it also with those purchases I got a free little mini sample of a face mask In Boots, I picked up this shaving cream because I'm going to be trying to shave my legs without cutting them. 
I also picked up some of this Head and Shoulders shampoo and sweets reduced to 32p. In Holland and Barrett, I bought some chocolate spread for £3.99, which is expensive, but it's very free. I've had that one before as well. Um, then regarding face creams, I had run out, so I got two, because it was buy one, get one half price. So I got the aloe vera one and the vitamin E cream. Comes in a glass packet like this. And then I also got a millionaire's shortbread thing, which I might insert a picture of. In Boo Avenue, I purchased a strapless bra and one pair of pants but you don't really need to see that anyway so the bra was 28 pounds not reduced or on sale and the pants were two pounds reduced from six pounds then i also went to dunham which i had to stand in long queue for i bought the sponge for cleaning the pony which was one pound fifty and then i bought this also for cleaning him it is a microfiber cloth and that was a pound and I also bought this fresh linen Zoflora which I haven't tried using but I've seen a lot on social media so I'm keen to give this a go. Um, I'm going to put it in a spray bottle and also use it for cleaning things. Uh, but the main reason why I have wanted to go to Dunelm was to get some scented draw liners so I picked up these. Yeah. Vanilla Sheer Mask and Woolly Ackles. Ackles. Um, in Matalan, I picked up this blue vest and it was 50p. Originally, £3. So I'm pleased with that one. Uh, then I also got a bikini. Oops. A Ban Bandura bikini with a removable strap. It was two, I got two sizes to try on and I returned one. Um, so it was originally six pounds, but then at the till it was only two pounds. Then I was also getting peckish because of all the shopping, so I bought these for a pound in Matalan. Regarding charity shops, I purchased three books. I got this Nine Perfect Strangers, which I'm really keen to read. Uh, the Milkman book, which I'm also keen to read, and The Rosie Effect, which I've heard good things about. Clothes wise, I went to Cancer Research and I got this long sort of Aztec style dress. It was from H&M, but it was in the charity shop for £3. And then I also got, what else I get? This Zara shirt with this, um, floral and horticultural sort of print and that was three pounds i thought i could kind of wear it for if i had an office job maybe um then i got this stripy t-shirt with some embroidered fruit i might give this to someone but i'm not sure yet yeah i forgot to film these pajamas that i bought from asda so they cost £6, reduced down from £14. They are black and white stripes with gold stars and bows and Tinkerbell. It's long sleeved top and shorts. And then I also purchased this Topshop dress in a charity shop for £8 and it's got a zip at the back. The last thing that I purchased was this black fake leather bag from oasis but it was from the charity shop for five pounds and i got the woman inside to check that i could fit an a4 piece of paper which i can it's really good it's got all these different sections section zip section with pockets long strap another section with a popper feet okay that's all thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below bye